people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, JDV. PFP over there. Now, this is the thing. This is a very interesting little video. I want to talk about this oil spill. We just passed a 100 for this oil spill, and this is one of the, we were talking, oh my gosh, this is one of the worst spills ever. It's an ecological catastrophe. And we know that Obama screwed it all up, in our personal opinion. He had slow response, he wasn't doing anything about the rules with the union stuff, I forget what that rule's called now, whatever, Jones Act, whatnot, you know, to let people in there. He wasn't listening to Bobby Jindal. There's all kinds of stuff. Then he doesn't visit it. The whole thing didn't meet with, you know, industry leaders. It was a mess. I mean, this was, in my personal opinion, Obama's Katrina times five. Oh, except for, thank goodness, we didn't have nearly as many people die and get displaced as we did with Katrina. But a sort of funny thing happened. Even though everybody knows, in my personal opinion, that Obama screwed that up so bad it's not even funny. And even the press was upset with him because they weren't letting them go and film the situation of what's going on. They had rope lines across the beach. Meanwhile, Michelle Obama and 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 uh, and you know and, and, and MB, MSNBC with Joe. Oh, come on down, come on down. It's great, but don't let the press in here. A weird thing happened. Kind of like what Rush Limbaugh was talking about. Kind of like what other people were talking about. People like us. All of a sudden. Oh, snap. Where's the oil go? Well, we know Obama was messing up. We know BP was messing up. We know the government wasn't able to do anything. All of a sudden, the oil seems to be gone. Where did it go? Is it possible that nature just kind of took care of itself? That it just dispersed? That's kind of, that's kind of a weird thing. Now, how did that happen? Because you know, that oil, well, that's kind of natural and that's been in the ocean and all over the place for a long, long time. You know hundreds of thousands, if not millions, actually, frankly, millions and millions of years, maybe billions of years, and so were the seas. And everything was kind of fine. And so, just like volcanoes explode, and ash goes up, and there's all kinds of stuff, you know, that kind of fixes itself too. I mean, Paul, doesn't this just put the lie to these eco-freaks, terroristic type of scare tactics that we, you know, this and that, we've ruined the planet, that, no more drilling, anything like that. Doesn't this just show that we didn't need government to do a darn thing, that this thing fixed itself, that it's supposedly the worst disaster in, in, ever, and now it's almost all fixed by Mother Nature herself? It, it does put the lie to this. I don't ever want to hear overreaction no. to any environmental quote unquote disaster ever again. Now, let's be clear. The only reason the left is trying to clear up this story and make it go away is, is to try to help Obama's suffering the poll fortunes and the Democrats' impending doom in November. Otherwise, they'd be going full tilt about this. Somebody made the point. Did you ever see a story like this about the Exxon Valdez? Oh, no. Of course not. Because no. it didn't suit the liberals' agenda then, and it does now. But as you said, you can't win with this one if you're on the left. Either it's a big story or else... Everything that Rush and everybody has ever told you about overreaction to environmental stuff has been proven. It's disappearing. Oil's going away. This is the biggest oil spill in world history that isn't involving, like, uh, finding a gusher of oil in California. This is the mother load. If this thing can go away by itself, everything else can't too. Right. I'm saying, look, I'm not a scientist. I'm not the Gulf. I don't know what's going on down there. We see the reports. But it makes sense, okay? Based upon these reports, based upon what's going on, looks like everything's cool, okay? And, it, and you know, like I said, it makes sense. The Earth is way more powerful than we are. That doesn't mean that we don't have to be smart. You know, nobody wants dirty water, dirty air, anything like that. And technology is what's going to get us there. And we want to get off of the, uh, you know, oil as fast as we can, or at least not so much dependent on it. But for now, we need, we need oil. 
Okay, so I say drill, baby, drill. It's nowhere near as dangerous as these people are trying to make it out to be. Let's drill it out there. Let's drill it closer to shore. Let's get AOR going. Let's get the whole thing. And look, if we get these dudes back from Afghanistan and save some money there and get them away off of you know uh, um, Europe and all that type of stuff, maybe we can spend some money, put a couple of little venture funds together for some green technology, something like that. I mean, let's start using our brains around here and stop the scare tactics. And I'm sick of Al Gore and these other eco freaks, in my personal opinion, getting rich off the scare tactics. And so I want to know, Obama, where'd the oil go? Eco freaks, Al Gore, where'd the oil go? You're wrong, bro. That's what it looks like to me right here. We'll see what the facts bear out. But right now, I think it's a very interesting story. I want to know what you guys think about it. Hit me with the comments below. Subscribe above. I am John. That is Paul. This is all personal opinion. And we will see you next time because we are conservative media.